South Iceland boasts a rich variety of natural beauty and social activity, extending all the way from the shoreline to the mountains inland. Here, a whole range of spectacular natural forces vie for the traveler's attention. Today, South Iceland is the most popular destination choice amongst visitors all the year round. The country's most hallowed historical site is Thingvellir National Park, where Iceland's first national assembly was established by early settlers over a thousand years ago. Thingvellir is also where, in the most dramatic way, one can see how the continents of America and Eurasia are pulling apart from each other atop the North Atlantic Ridge. The Geysir high temperature area, with its world famous erupting hot springs, is a must for any visitor. As indeed is the magnificent nearby Gulfos waterfall. Travelling eastwards along the south coast, one sees just why Iceland is called the land of ice and fire. Tourist amenities in the south include a wide variety of recreational activities available all the year round and catering to every age and interest. The Vatnajökull National Park is the largest national park in Europe and offers endless opportunities for exploring nature. East of the park is the picturesque fishing village of Hup, famous for its lobster fishing. The various museums, saga centers, art galleries and handicraft centers reflect the rich heritage of the region's past and present. In the south, you'll find every type of accommodation imaginable. And when it comes to dining out, there's a whole range of restaurants to choose from. The town of Selfos is the largest town in the south and offers all the services a tourist might need. A number of other small towns are scattered further along the south coast, each worth a visit. For a true taste of Iceland, the south is the perfect destination at any time of the year. Its diversity of nature, its fascinating cultural heritage and the endless choice of recreational activities will give you memories to cherish a lifetime. And best of all, you're always assured the warmest of Icelandic welcomes.
There are quite a lot uh, to see around Otaranga and um, quite many of the more famous attractions in South Iceland are just very close to us. The trip is uh, like the main purpose of the trip is so that people can experience the nature at winter time and that is what uh, we love to show you this uh, nature at this time of year and then of course as the name and the color of my jacket like you know still when you get home to the hotel you have something extra to wait for. Hotel Rongo really is an amazing place to stay. Uh, it has this really great facility or observatory where we come every clear night and show people the stars. Uh, the people, the guests at the hotel can talk to us. We talk to them about the Milky Way, about the, about the myths behind the constellations and we show them some beautiful objects through these amazing telescopes. So important for the people who want to see the Northern Lights and at the same time trying to experience something else during the day is that we have no light pollution here. You don't need to travel anywhere. You can just walk out the door and, and see this phenomenon when it's on. The auroras can appear at any time, even during the night when you're asleep, but you don't have to worry at all about that because they have a wake-up list at the hotel. So the night guard calls your room and lets you know if the auroras are up there, and then you just put your clothes on, run out, and really enjoy the scenery. And you're surrounded by this flood of people who are really excited about what they see. That's pretty impressive. And being out somewhere in the countryside on a dark winter evening, it is just a great feeling. And that is what gives people the best out of the trip usually, experiencing them being out in the countryside, not just making an evening tour out of Reykjavik, but also just staying, because then you have uh, all the evening, you have all the night as well on you to watch them if they appear. Iceland really is an amazing place. And you can enjoy the scenery here with beautiful volcanoes, the rivers, the, vo the landscape is absolutely amazing, the people are very nice, the food is great and the night sky is by far the best one we have. The amazingly versatile landscapes of South Iceland reveal some of nature's most extreme contrasts. Here is a land that has been shaped by the powerful forces of glaciers and volcanoes over thousands of years. Along the coastline, there are verdant meadows and stark black sandy beaches stretching all the way to the horizon. This spectacular natural paradise is the area of Iceland most visitors choose to explore. And the wonderful thing is, it's accessible all year round. South Iceland is in every sense the land of ice and fire, with its active volcanoes and towering glaciers. And then there are the powerful glacial rivers, the lush green pastures and the vast lava fields. What a feast for the eye! Katla Geopark, Iceland's first geopark, is situated in the area. The park opens up a geological wonderland to the visitor. A top priority of the park is to protect the natural environment and promote sustainable development locally. The park is particularly sensitive to the local culture and places a strong emphasis on nature tourism. South Iceland is a destination for all seasons, winter or summer. Each has its own magical charm guaranteed to enchant the traveler. Welcome to South Iceland. Traveling to Iceland, are we? 
or you click the right video because the Blue Lagoon is an absolute must-see when visiting Iceland. In a jet-black lava field on Reykjanes Peninsula lies the Blue Lagoon, one of the most popular visitor attractions in Iceland. This geothermal spa is located midway between Keflavik International Airport and Reykjavik City, making it a perfect first stop if you just arrived in Iceland or a great last stop on your way back home. The Blue Lagoon is the perfect place to relax and unwind, and people come from all over the world to soak in the warm, opaque waters, which are rich in both silica and sulfur. These minerals are said to do wonders for your skin, and the Blue Lagoon even operates a research and development facility dedicated to finding cures and remedies for skin ailments using this mineral-rich water. The temperature in the Blue Lagoon is at a very comfortable 37 to 39 degrees Celsius, and visitors can find a number of spa amenities available to them, such as silica mud masks, a sauna, and a steam room. Guests can also purchase drinks at the outdoor bar, book an in-water massage, or have lunch or dinner at the on-site restaurant, which is built into a lava cliff. It is not just the excellent amenities and healing water that attracts visitors to the Blue Lagoon, but the spa's beautiful setting. The water itself is a stunning aquamarine color, and surrounding the lagoon are fantastic volcanic landscapes, complemented by clouds of rising steam, which bestow an otherworldly appearance upon the whole area. Remember that this is a very popular attraction, so if you're planning to visit the Blue Lagoon, make sure you book tickets online well in advance. How amazing is this place, right? Well, that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed exploring Iceland with us. For more information and videos, please subscribe to our channel or check out our website.
The hotel was made from an abandoned staff building of the nearby geothermal power plant. Today, it's a design hotel with a Northern Lights bar, a spa, and some 45 rooms. The hotel is located some 30 kilometers outside of Reykjavik, next to the UNESCO-listed national park, and it's literally where the two tectonic plates are drifting apart. We have a lot of energy in the area. We have a dormant volcano next to us. We have a geothermal power plant. We have hot springs and natural hot streams all around us. Hence the name ION is linking us with all the power that we have in the surrounding, as well as in the Northern Lights. So this location is one of the best to see in the Northern Lights. The entire concept of the hotel is using sustainable material in an environmental friendly way. We have a sink made out of recycled tires, furnitures and uh, bars made out of recycled wood. The atmosphere is Icelandic and we have fair trade business with all the farmers who provide us with the lamp for the menu. The adventure part is quite an amazing feature. We have anything from hiking from the doorsteps of the hotel to the top of a dormant volcano, going with a snowmobile or a super jeep to a glacier, watching the hot springs, diving and touching the two continents at the same time, seeing the waterfalls, the amazing clear, pure waterfalls, river rafting down some of the glacier rivers. It's a very cold to dip into. Welcome to Ion Luxury Adventure Hotel in Iceland, where everything needs nothing. Að vetrarlagi þá er það lang vinsælustu hlutur sem fólk sækir í þær er norðurljós. Norðurljósin er þetta skoða hérna í bakgarðinu, þú ert ekki að ferðast eitt, þú ert ekki að býða eftir þeim því að við erum með myndavélabúna sem segir til um hvenar norðurljósin er honum sýnileg og þá er fólk vakjuð upp og það getur séð þau í bakgarði hótelsins. My name 
is Jacek Sosnowski, I'm from Poland and I'm head chef of Strata Hotel. I'm living in Iceland for eight years, so basically I'm half of Icelanders. What we do here in Strata, what we're trying to do is try to use the local products and local food. Traditional food will be the lax, the salmon from uh, Ranga River. And we are buying the fresh fish just the, from the house in the corner there. We have the fish cellar and we get fish every day. We based everything on the local food, like, like the fish from South Iceland and from our cellar. We're trying to buy all the fresh vegetables from the next village, which is called Flutir. And it's the, one of the biggest villages in Iceland to produce all the vegetables. So we're trying to get the vegetables to us and use them in our menu and mix with our local fish. We have also Icelandic horse in our menu, which is not usually in the Icelandic menus. And uh, I would say that makes us a little bit different than other restaurants. In the southeast of Iceland, the produce from the farms and the fishermen in Hub is quite spectacular, where it's locally homegrown and in many instances organic products. 
Smirtla Björk Farm has been converted into a country hotel specializing in homemade cooking from their own produce and some local products from the nearby farms and also some fresh fish from the fishing village pub in Hornafjörður which is just a few minutes away. And one of their chefs is for example Jón Sölvi, a renowned chef from the fishing village and here everything is fresh, local and pure Icelandic. Löve, you were the first farm in Iceland to uh, get the permission to uh, produce and uh, sell your products because they are all homegrown. Yeah. And uh, here you have a buffet of a lot of things. Tell us about that. Yeah, all this, uh, all this food this is homemade and, and from this area. And there the tourists come here to us, we tell them what they what we have and and what and they can see where it's the, from yes yes yeah so the farms and the regions are all marked here yeah yeah great you have also some specialities from yourself like the pate here yeah this is a lamb pate yeah uh, and so we have the the lamb mm -hmm. the delicted yeah. lamb yeah and the cured also yeah. yeah. Cured lamb. Yes. Yeah. And even some birds. Yeah. This here is, is a deluxe to goose. Mm -hmm. Some we some we have here. Yeah. And that's from your farm. Yes. Yeah. Mm. When you drive around Iceland, you know you see all those farmhouses. People are often very curious about those farmhouses. And what we have done is that we have opened those farmhouses for our guests. So it's a great experience for people to get to know the locals. We offer different hospitality than uh, elsewhere in Iceland. We invite you to our home, we invite you to our hearts, and we treat you like you are a personal guest that we have known for years. This is unique to come to, uh, to Iceland, to the countryside, visit the farmers, and just, you know, be a part of the family. It's uh, like a home away from home. personal for you and uh, we are local. We help you to feel that you are also a local. Now is a guy here who have a flat tire and we will fix that before we go to sleep. So that is what we stand for. And as we say here in Eskihörður, you come as a stranger and you leave as a friend. That is our speciality. I'm not sure you can find this anywhere else in the world. Farm's Day is a local and unique experience where you have the chance to meet locals. So you have the chance to meet Icelanders at their homes. At the farms you can often find farm animals, like you can hear the chicken. What we want to do is take this extra effort and um, tell people exactly how the food is made and where it comes from and what the farmer is doing and all his work that he puts into making a really, really good product. So we are not only offering good food and good service, we also want to meet you and know a little bit about you and tell you a little bit about us. One of the things we offer in uh, Hey Iceland Farms is, uh, of course, the touch with uh, nature. The nature in Iceland is uh, very diversible and you see many, many different scenes.
We have a really uh, good smell. <laughs> it's a fresh smell and it's natural. It's great to experience when we get guests here, when they are experiencing, you know, like kind of living in the moment. We would like you to take home the experience, like you are just visiting some friends.
borgarðurinn or the beer garden at the ground floor at Foss Hotel Reykjavík is a great meeting place for beer lovers and foodies alike. Björgarinn offers a multitude of good beer on tap and bottled beer from all over the world. The beer garden offers over 150 different bottled beers from breweries all over the world, including Denmark, Sweden, Belgium, the US, Scotland and of course Iceland. The beer garden is a popular spot to dine on delicious street food, grab a refreshing craft beer and spend time with friends or family in a chic design setting. Staff members are full of passion when it comes to pairing the right food with the right beer, making it a true experience that enhances every meal. Foss Hotel Reykjavík is the biggest hotel in Iceland, situated in a distinctive tower close to the city centre in what Icelanders sometimes call the financial district in Borgartún area. Host is the Icelandic word for autumn and a unique restaurant located at Foss Hotel Reykjavík. Host is harvest time and mindful of that, the chefs at Host prepare the menu based on the bounty of each season. Host offers a four or seven course journey inspired by the forces of nature and Iceland's magnificent landscape. The menu focuses on fresh Icelandic food cooked to perfection by some of Iceland's finest chefs. When it comes to food, the star chef Jonas is known for his creativity. His latest experiment, the Black Lick, is a garlic cooked for 30 days over low temperatures. Host restaurant is therefore known for its own taste and the food at Host is simply astounding.
Akamari, Iceland, a peaceful town of about 20,000 inhabitants living together in a cultural, family oriented community with emphasis on ecological solutions, recycling, and green energy as a motto for the future. It is by far the largest municipality outside the capital area in Iceland and is sometimes referred to as the capital of the north. The islands of Hrise and Grimse are part of the municipality. The Arctic Circle runs right through the center of Grimse and Hrise is best known for its diverse bird life. Both foreign and domestic tourists flock to Akureyri every year. They come to enjoy its laid-back atmosphere, peaceful living, great cuisine, stunning sunsets, and all kinds of activities ranging from biking to sailing, hiking to horseback riding, and whale safaris to bird watching. In winter, Akureyri is certainly the number one choice for Icelanders traveling domestically to enjoy winter sports in one of the largest ski centers in Iceland. And the magnificent Northern Lights are always a big attraction. In Akureyri, you will find one of the country's largest and most popular swimming pools, a beautiful 18-hole golf course just a stone's throw away from the Arctic Circle, and all kinds of museums, ranging from fine modern art to a folk museum and an aviation museum. Additionally, Akureyri is an ideal base for visiting some of Iceland's greatest natural wonders, such as Lake Mivan, volcanic areas with geothermal boiling mud pools, and many spectacular waterfalls, amongst them is the most powerful waterfall in Europe. Welcome to Akureyri.
Chris is Noel. He became world famous in only five hours by misspelling a street name. He was taken off course by 260 miles on a journey to a town in the north of Iceland, the last town before the North Pole. The route is now generally known as the Noel Trail. Noel got lucky when he found a hidden treasure, a beautiful small fishing town called Siglufjörður, or Siglo. Noel, where are you? Siglufjörður. The friendliest town in Iceland always welcomes you. Don't misspell it.
Aquí finaliza la hora feliz, a brindar.